Hello everybody, I come back to you with a new video. Basically I have few minutes to go or half hour before I go to install my setup that I show you theoretically how I make it. Today I have an appointment with my host to install it and make it reality and basically test it and share the result with you. I will show you now how it look in the real world. Basically if you want to copy me, this is my antenna. In my real life, I will use the 9 dB Miguel antenna, but in your situation, use any antenna that you like. Because, like we said, the antenna di differentiate from every location, need different antenna. If you are dealing with reflection, you need different antenna. If you are too much high, you need small dBi. If you are down, you need high dBi. We will make a subject specifically for antennas, but for now, let's focus about three miners, one location, balcony installation. Okay, I will use this just for reference. I have the 9 dB Miguel antenna in my situation. This is it's in my host home. This is the rack, just for demonstration. Cut your antenna, use the connector. This is N type male to SMA mail, yeah, simple as that, connect it to the antenna, make it very snug fit, and from the SMA, uh, from the SMA mail, you need the bidirectional amplifier, because he have connectors SMA female to SMA female, in my situation, I'm using the sharing ink amplifier, and they will connect it here, it's to my host home again, and from the amplifier I will use this is custom made SMA male to SMA ARP uh, Alamar 400 I ordered it custom made just to not use connectors SMA male directly from the amplifier guys focus to not lose DB a lot, DB a lot of DB on connectors and stuff like this after you connect everything like this use basically some tape round about it to be waterproof and this is how sorry and call it the rubber thingy i have it from my outdoor enclosure from rack wireless they come with this and they have extra i will use it to waterproof my setup and like this no water come inside to your connectors no water come to your amplifier because not outdoor use this is indoor i have to cover it very well on top of it, I will use this again to waterproof it. After you waterproof everything, then if you have McGill antenna like me, you will come with huge connectors like this to make it fast to the mast. If you are rack wireless user, you will buy this from them. If you want to, this is the extra option. And this come with the antenna with rock wireless. You can even use this as you like. You have three options. This option from rock wireless. Second option from rock wireless. The third option from Miguel. Me, I will use today from Miguel. I made a, another video about this is antenna holder for balconies. It's a half meter with good diameter. It's metal it's not aluminium because i was worried that he will bend in the wind that's why i buy it metal hopefully he not rust i will put some oil on the screws here to not make them to get rust to help me to not rust even here okay from antenna connector bidirectional amplifier alamar 400 don't use this next to your miner it must to be connected directly to your antenna and from here he will boost your signal through the Alamar 400 as you can see Alamar 400 this is outdoor enclosure made from plastic it's IP54 rated basically it's a junction box if you want to use electricity outside and you not want to get them wet use a box like this 
unfortunately I use this because I not have another option because my rack wireless outdoor enclosure he can you he can fit only two miners in my situation now I will use three miners like you know the third the third house he, he reject my miner he tell me I not want to keep it so I end up with three miners now I will fit them all inside this box theoretically this present miners just I want to see if I have enough space inside this box until now he look like I have space Alamar 400 I use a connector here I hate to use connectors but I I use it now to use him with the pigtail I make 90 degree angle to make things look smooth and nice fitting not ugly fitting and to keep everything inside stable I will use this industrial velcro basically he can hold, hold tools like hammer and everything it's very 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 strong you must be careful when you use him because it's very strong use just a little okay so Alamar 400 connectors try to not use connectors if you don't have to but in my setup now I will do my best to push this cable until here to connect him but if I the miners they not have enough space I will use it like this connector 90 degree pigtail he go to the DC injector from the DC injector he go to the three-way splitter this is a three-way splitter like I show you in my previous video and from your three-way splitter, splitter you have two options how to connect to your miner option one use SMA mail to RP SMA connect him directly to your miner hustle free and if you are like me always want to look a ways how to use less DB so I use IPX cable to SMA mail and I connect this directly to the RF card of the miner basically you have to open the miner and plug him directly to the RF card concentrator basically this is the RF card they call her concentrator yeah so option one directly to the RP SMA to SMA mail splitters DC injector Alamar 400 bidirectional amplifier SMA mail to N type connector and then your antenna from up antenna N type mail to SMA mail bidirectional amplifier and then LMR 400 to directly pigtail or small flexible cable use it short as possible eliminate him if you you can if you have a different setup try to eliminate this like I said always minimum minimum cable is always good for less DB loss me in the box I must to make things easy to help me to fit the miners cable DC injector three-way splitter option one IPX to SMA mail easier option RP SMA to SMA mail three miners okay now you will ask me how to power your miners and how you will power your amplifier first option to power the amplifier we need DC injector 5 volt this is a micro USB it will fit here and from this micro USB I must put 5 volt how I use this basically I use PoE splitter yeah from the PoE splitter this is with USB-C I will cut him and replace him with micro USB and this USB splitter he will give me 5 volt of DC power now the same thing I will make with my miners I use PoE setup this is a PoE injector you inject power and internet to this ethernet cable and in the end I will have PoE splitter 5 volt 3 amp to give me ethernet and power 5 volt 3 amp power with this I will power my miners like I said they always use the adhesive 
uh, velcro and destroy your velcro because it's very strong and I don't want to anything move when I install things I will use velcro here under the miners to keep them inside the box without vibration and I will use velcro behind the splitter behind the DC injector to connect them to the plastic wall and everything he must to be stable guys not let vibration and because the vibration will make your connector loose and you will have maybe shortage and you can burn your stuff on your burn your expensive miners and everything so be careful about this you will tell me how you make poe i already make poe videos how to set up them as a quick version let's make it from here this is represent router if you are in home and you have a router of course from your router you're supposed to take directly ethernet cable to your miner if it's not possible one ethernet cable to the power line from this power line basically injects him to power source like this i will have an internet in every and all the home and from the balcony i use the second pair so in the balcony i will have this plugged in in the balcony and from there i take power and ethernet and from the power and ethernet i put them to this injector and he will inject power and internet to this cable and the end i will end up with 5 volt with this splitter and ethernet cable this is quick and dirty explanation about the poe setup i made another video how to make it with the poe switch me i show you this just for reference for one device me i use poe switch who have a five port like this from this poe switch because this is he will power one miner i use a poe split switch from tp link is to my host home and i put him basically inside the similar box like this and from him i will make four time like this out to power my three miners i will have three splitters to power each miner with his own splitter and will be velcroed like this no vibration no rattling and the fourth splitter he will be this to power this dc injector i will cut the ethernet cable i will adjust this 5 volt cable i cut him here and replace him with the micro usb cable and like this this will have 5 volt the miners will have 5 volt each one of them he have his own poe splitter it's very important to have each miner his own power and to have a stable power and if something happen in the future you will know immediately which problem yeah i hope you understand if you have another question let me know if you have any ideas about future videos let me know and i will make it and if i'm lucky enough i will try to make a video i will make some extra testing for you guys there to show you how to use the glamos over there if it's possible okay quick setup from your router to your power line from your power line in the balcony or in the window or in the attic take go to your poe injector if you have one miner use this one if you have multiple miner you need poe switch i don't have it it's to my host this is just for reference and from there you will have like me three miners example you need three ethernet cable three poe splitters basically you need four poe splitters to power three miners and the fourth one to cut him and replace him with the micro usb cable to power your dc injector and dc inject basically your miners rf signal plus the power and it goes to your alamar 400 to your bidirectional amplifier 
from your bidirectional amplifier directly to the connector, connector directly to your antenna. What will happen? This antenna will witness. When she witness, the amplifier will push this signal throughout the cable, throughout the connector, throughout to the DC and splitter and help you to compensate the losses of the cable, of connectors, DC injector, the splitters and extra connectors. This is the power of the amplifier. Never use the amplifier next to your miners because it will not compensate the losses from here. And this is not the purpose of amplifier. It must be directly connected under the antenna, not here next to the miners. This is very, very, very important. Another uh, information, try to use DC. Be careful about splitters, they are limited to 100 megabytes per second. Try to read here and they put you, there is one gigabyte internet switch. This one, they are limited, but my house, he have only 50 megabyte, that's why I use 100 mega. Other house, he have one giga, I buy splitters with one giga. You must be careful with splitters. Another advice always when we make setups like this try to make a bag with extra tools with you you have extra tape extra tools this bag saved me multiple times of connectors because one wrong connector there your setup will be stopped and you must wait at least two days with prime to get a connector so always be careful extra tools here amazon box for tools ah I must even to swap the memory card. I think I cover everything. My future videos, I will speak one more time about the best ones. POE power lines. This is the shitty ones. They die on me. This is they work in all the temperature, hot weather and cold weather. This is in cold weather, they stop functioning. Yeah, there is a lot of videos to cover, a lot of information, but this is the basically what I need today to do. I hope you get the point. If you have any questions, let me know which next video that I should make about power lines, about amplifiers, about splitters, about glamos, about anything. You ask me and I will do my best to make the video. So if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. This is mean when I see more like, that's mean you like my videos and discourage me to make more videos like this. I love you all and see you in my upcoming video. Peace.